The Greeks thought they were these big colonialists, like they'd rule the whole world with a phony fist, and instead of being all harmonious, they made us worship gods from their phony myths. Montesquieu didn't like this, started writing a hit list, and get this, by Christmas, the revolution was a big hit. The Maccabees fought with their swords and their wits. Blew the Greeks to little bits in a bolt of Yiddish blitz, but when they tried to get the menorah lit, they found out those freaks had defiled it. Matasyahu had a fit, nearly blew his lid till he heard the word from the lips of his little kid. Now this Yehuda was a straight shooter, logical like a computer, sharp like the teeth of a barracuda. He said those stupid intruders missed his little flask. Now I'm sure you'll ask how far one jar will last. In the past, we never made pure oil that fast. But trust Hashem and take it one day at a time, and I'm sure everything will be just fine. I don't know what he was on or what was on his mind, but you should have seen that oil shine for eight days straight, not a moment too late, because that's how long it takes to create another batch of liquid virgin. So light a match against religious coercion and keep on searching for that internal bottle of light. Keep up the fight. Light the candles left to right every Hanukkah night. Listen up. I had a little dream. I ordered it online. They made it out of line, straight from the mines of Dingledine. My material is basic, like a latke. You can taste it. You can cut it. You can paste it. You can waste it or erase it, but face it. You know you can't replace it. <laughs> Saw Sharansky last night at OSU. He said the fight's for human rights and the stripes is white and blue. The right to practice a religion that I might not like. To perform rights of your choice of holy sites. That's the way it is in Jerusalem today and that's the way it'll stay if I have any say. If Arik makes me the Tsar, I said, but that's what you are. He said, I know. I just keep thinking back to when I was six in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. I lit the menorah and dressed for kicks. The KGB got the drift and put me behind bricks in Siberia. In the evil Imperia, I was a prisoner of politics. They broke my bones with they stones and they sticks, but I didn't get depressed. I played three games of chess a day. Then Ronald Reagan saved my butt, but that was yesterday. So I break for Arab Democrats and throw the rest away. I had a little dream. I ordered it online. They made it out of line, straight from the mines of Dingledine. My material is basic, like a latke. You can taste it. You can cut it. You can paste it. You can waste it or erase it, but face it. You know you can't replace it. <laughs> Here we got our own brown shirt people, cause Ann Coulter doesn't want to hurt people, she just wants to bomb countries and convert people. Guess who's next to be impaled on her church steeple? After the Muslim states, it'll be Israel. Replace Al-Aqsa with the American Eagle. The Christian right might just make being Jewish illegal. One nation under Jesus in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll have to light our menorahs in secret, hide our love away like the Beatles, and smuggle latkes like they was heroin needles. It's, it's a pancake, pancake President Robertson. Robertson. Just eat it. So light a match for religious freedom before it's too late. Let's celebrate by recreating the separation of church and state. Let's spin till we're half twisted like Dr. Dre and smear some more sweetana on our latkes plate. Thank mm -hmm. you.